guys hello 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 how are you guys doing let me lower this down just slightly there we go <laughs> and let me start over here on facebook hey celestine thank you so much for joining me and as you are joining me go ahead and invite your followers go ahead and give me some hearts here on periscope good morning honey. i hope you're doing well hey over here on facebook hey y'all how you doing scope granny thank you so much for joining me thank you for those hearts and as you all are coming in on Facebook, let's have some real discussion. And we had some real talk, and I took some time this weekend to regroup, revamp, and replan. You're gonna like what you see. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for coming in and giving me those hearts. Thank you so much for viewing here on Facebook. I do appreciate you guys coming and joining me. Uh, Janie Smith, thank you so much for joining me. And today we are going to talk about style, just like we talk about every day. So if you know someone who could use a little style help, including yourself, like this, love this, and more importantly, share this. If this is your first time viewing me, tell me where you are viewing from. I like to see new faces. I like to hear about new places that I may or may not have ever been. I like to see who's watching and where they're watching from. So if this is your first time watching me, please let me know what, where you are watching from or where you are originally from, whichever one you're most comfortable telling me. My name is Cherry. I am a personal stylist. I am a style educator, but more importantly, I am your style BFF. Hey, Tiny May, thank you so much for joining. Thank you for inviting your followers. And thank you so much, uh, Tim... Tim Truman One. Morning, honey. Thank you so much for joining me. And we're going to have a little real talk. I thought it was about time. You know, I can tell you where this, where that, this is good, this is bad, but we need to get to the root of it all. And we need to tr t tap into some of those um, style slash shopping mistakes that you're making in time. Emery uh, LMZ2, thank you so much for joining me. And so if you are the type of person who's on the fence like, mm, I want a little bit more, I want something better, this is the conversation that we need to have. Thank you so much for inviting your followers, as always, and thank you for keeping up those hearts over here on Periscope. And if you have not already, like this, love this, comment if you have any questions or concerns, and more, more importantly, share this with your friends, your family, your frenemies, your foes, your ex-foes, boos, ex-boos, all that good stuff. <laughs> and so, of course, I got my notes, you know, I got my little notebook. So we're going to talk about three signs you're not as stylish as you thought. Now, this is a hard conversation to have with some people, but I'm telling you, this is coming from a place of love. I am not here to judge you. I am not here to say, oh, you've been bad, bad, bad. I'm not here to say that you are a lost cause because I don't believe in lost causes. I just believe in just delayed victories. <laughs> So if that is you, we're going to talk about maybe some signs that you didn't realize were there that are reminiscent of symptoms to a bigger problem. So number one, you have to do overhauls every season. If every single season, like going from summer to spring, I mean summer to fall, fall to winter, winter to spring, feels like this big to-do, you have to do all these big overhauls, you constantly have to get rid of things um, and constantly have to replace them, you might not be as stylish as you think you are. Why do I say this? If you have a basic style, basic pieces in your wardrobe, you're not going to have to do these big overhauls and these big clean outs every single, every single season. You should have style, which is an extension of who you are, a strong sense of self. So when you know you are who you are, you know what you have to say, you know your preferences, your likes or dislikes. Why are you constantly throwing that away every season? Doesn't make that much sense. Thank you guys so much for the likes and the loves. And thank you guys so much for the shares. Hey, good morning, Alton. Hopefully you are doing good this morning. And so what sense does it make if you're going out buying things that you constantly have to get rid of them every three to four months? That's wasteful of money. And that means you really... You really probably need a better idea of what your preferences are. You should have a staple core wardrobe. You should not be getting rid of it. It also may mean you are buying more fast fashion than you realized. And what is fast fashion? It's just like fast food. Something that you can get quick. Thank you for inviting your followers. Something that you can get quick. Something that you can get um, at a moment's notice. Something that's a little cheaper. 
I might well say less expensive because cheap and less expensive are two different things. Hey, Shelly, thank you so much for joining me, love. And if you have not already told me, where are you viewing from? I love to see new faces and hear about new places. So please let me in on that. I'm Cherry, personal stylist, but more importantly, you're a new style BFF. And what we're going to talk about, three signs you may not be as stylish as you think you are. Number one is you constantly have to do overhauls every season. I understand it's a, it's a slight transition from summer to fall, but if you are if you are constantly putting away those summer dresses or if nothing that you wear from summer can be translated into fall, what part of you was really there? Oh, you're in Georgia. I'm originally from Georgia. I was born in Fort Stewart, Georgia, raised in Hinesville, Georgia, which is like right there near each other. <laughs> So yes, I am a Georgia girl myself. And thank you guys so much over here for constantly giving me that love and support. And so if you have to constantly overhaul each season, y'all, <laughs> that means you don't have a core you don't have a core wardrobe. You don't have a core style. A core style is essential, and the trendy stuff from season to season is ornamental. So your core wardrobe is essential it's something that you wear all year long you just repurpose it in different ways but queen i thank you so much for joining me honey and if you guys have not already go out and share this like this love this share this out with people who you feel may need it even if it's just you to remind yourself of later on in the day so if you do not have a stable core wardrobe that is just ornamented with different trendy things from season to season maybe one or two pieces then you need to have a complete style overhaul. Not just a wardrobe overhaul, a complete style overhaul. Get back to the basics of you. Who are you? What do you have to say? What are your goals and aspirations? And do you have a closet that reflects that? Not only who you are now, but who you will be in five years. If you don't have that, that is why I'm here. Contact me. We need to talk one-on-one. -on -one. I can give you information, good information, every single morning that will work for many people. But style is a very personalized, is a very custom-made thing because you are a very personal, personalized and custom-made person. That's just how it is. Number two, you shop more than you wear. Now, guys. <laughs> If you shop for clothes more than you wear the clothes, it may be a problem. And thank you so much for those hearts up there. Thank you for keeping coming. If you shop and shop and shop and you find yourself not wearing them as much as you as you shop for them, you need to take a step back and understand, am I shopping because it looks cute? Do I think I'm going to miss out on this deal? Do I think I'm going to miss out on this cute piece of clothes? Hey, that's why I'm here. You got to be real with yourself. If that's you reevaluate your standards. That means you just accepted anything and everything that's cute and or on sale. Why? Do you not think you're going to see it again? If not, we need to expand our horizons. And understand that. I have to wear uniform words to that's why. And understand, listen, okay. So I often, I'm hearing this more and more and more about people who have to wear uniforms to work. That's fine. That's perfectly okay. But when you have... I, I think of workwear, if you're wearing a uniform, that is the only way that is a little different. Thank you. Hey, Mitch, thank you so much for joining me. That is a little different than having a wardrobe wardrobe. I'm talking about off the clock. Now, when you're on the clock, you have to wear a certain thing. So making sure those are up to standard, up to code. That's one thing. When you have a wardrobe that you rarely, if ever, wear, who says you need 100 pieces like, oh, I can't wait to wear this for this and this and that. Have a core wardrobe, core pieces. I'm going to do a webinar after I do the shapewear webinar, um, shapewear and underwear webinar. I am going to do one based on the basics that you need to be a stylish modern woman. And it is going to cover all bases. And I'm going to have a premium version that comes with um, a lookbook based on your body type. And what I often hear is why well, wear a uniform. You, st you don't wear a uniform off the clock. Off the clock, it needs to have, you need to have a distinct piece of you. Because you don't always get to show it as much with a uniform. There's still ways you can do that. Maybe with accessories or maybe with a lip color or maybe even with the 
type of eyeliner you have. You know, style is from head to toe. And I always think of makeup and styling for your face. So you always, there's always a way for you to do that. But even then, you need to have a staple sense of wardrobe, a staple style. And it's just ornamented throughout the seasons. And so hopefully, I, I hope that was a little helpful. And, you know, just, just, switching hey john atlas five thank you so much for joining me and just switching around just the way that we think about it and even as you're wearing your uniform you should have you should have just different things that make you distinctive because you are distinctive just by your very nature we are all unique in our own way that is why i named it emeralds girl emeralds are very quirky they have flaws inherently that's part of their characteristics it doesn't take away from their beauty and neither should it take away from you we are all like the emerald that like diamond we talked about this last scope diamond is is lauded the more perfect it is the more valuable it is <laughs> i am uh i am not perfect <laughs> i have to team i have to learn to get my mom in and out Yes. Thank you so much. Um, yes. Even if you are a mom. Hey, Jessica, thank you so much for joining me. Being a mom is no excuse. Who says style means you can't get things done in it? Who says style means you can't be comfortable? It's also a reason why we buy and buy and buy. We're constantly looking for that just outfit. We constantly have that. <laughs> oh, Mitch. You constantly have, you constantly have those, just because you stopped getting the things that you need to look and feel confident, doesn't mean that the world stops caring about that. Mama plus size, not so easy for, oh, no, 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 no. Being plus size and being a mom, it just requires you, it requires you to be, uh, requires you to have a different mindset. I'm often scared. Here's the thing. You can be scared. You can be, I'm often scared before I go live. I'm often scared about what am I wearing today? Is it going to come off a certain way? Not because I don't feel confident myself. I just want to make sure you guys are taking in information and taking me seriously. But then I think as long as I am me or even in, <laughs> Or even, and even if I do have security, so that, thank you for bringing that up. So a lot of the moms, I want to turn into Walmart while shopping, not that I want to be overdressed. I just want to stand out and feel pretty. And that's the thing. What makes you feel pretty? It could be something as simple as um, a t-shirt dress with um, solid colored tights and some cute booties. That is so mom, Aaron running across town going grocery shopping and Walmart appointment. Um, no, I, I think, I think what someone else thinks of you is none of your business. That's what my grandmother always told me. What someone thinks of you is none of your business. And what does that mean? Image is important. And understanding that image is important. And us as running errands, girl, my baby's <laughs> Well, you know what? As mama, you make sure your baby is okay. And then you come in second place. But understand this. What other people think of you is none of your business. And as a mom, think about this. What am I setting an example for my children to love themselves? Because kids... They hear what you say, but they also see what you do, and they are sponges. Trust me, y'all. <laughs> My niece and nephew have taught me that 10 times over. <laughs> they have taught me that 10 times over, guys. That children will, will hear what you say, but they'll also see what you are doing. Sandra, thank you so much for joining me. And so when it comes to you just constantly buying and buying and not really wearing it, it's because you're still searching for an answer that you have not found. And that is okay. That is why I am here. Hey, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for the like, the love, and thank you more importantly for sharing. And so if you are a mom, if you are a plus size mom, that just means you have to accept a few things. You may not have had the same body as you did pre-babies, but you need to appreciate it and accept it as is. And this is where I say, 
as is without any alterations, with any subtractions, with any uh, modifications, as is, you are more than enough. And to accept the fact that you are fluffy or fat or plus size, whatever label you want to do that is acceptable for you. It's about being mindful of the way your body is built. It's being mindful of how full or how slim your body is to inform you about the way that clothes are usually designed for you and knowing your options. If you do not know the options where to shop, and if you are a plus size mom, I have options for you if you're running errands. I have options for you if you want to get dressed up. I have an option for you if you are currently expecting and carrying if you want to know where that is that is bit.ly slash egc web and it's just and and i think the the better terminology would be not necessarily perfectly but authentically who are you authentically who are you authentically you can be you can feel like a mess sometimes um, and my mom, my mom always say, you know, look twice as good as you feel. So if you feel bad, <laughs> so if you feel bad, look good. If you, if you feel good, look great. And if you feel great, look drop dead gorgeous. So no matter how you feel, you still look great. And you're going to feel great. When you look great, you're going to feel great. Even if you're having a, a, a low morning. Hey, Shoshana. Hey, Low Burrows. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you were just joining me, my name is Cherry. I'm a personal stylist, style educator, and I'm your new style BFF. We had three reasons why your style may not be as on point as you think it is. One was that you have to over, do overhauls every season. If you have to do that that often, <laughs> thank you. Hey, Mark. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have to do that often, that means you don't have, uh, no, I don't style celebrities. I don't know if I would style celebrities. I think my, I think my ministry is more for the woman, uh, the, every, the everyday woman and the woman who is the everyday business woman. Who may have her own company who may be working and climbing up the corporate ladder that is who that is who I am for I think celebrity stylists I think that is a certain skill set because you have to think about cameras and lighting I'm working on a man I want it to be that in a year I am um, I think in a year I think I want to venture out into men uh, do what often Oh, you have to do overhauls every season. If you have to clean out and do overhauls over and over every season, that means you don't have a very good core wardrobe. And remember, your core wardrobe is essential. All the trends and all that other stuff is ornamental. So it's just ornamenting your your core style, your core preferences. And so number two is you shop more than you wear. You're constantly buying things and thinking, I don't want to miss out. This is so cute. What if I don't see it again? You will. No, hey, thank you so much for joining me. And if you if you do not know where to find me, I am also on Facebook right now, but at Emerald Girl Chronicles or check out my website, egchronicles.com. Thank you for joining me and I hope you have a great day. And so if you shop more than you wear, you are looking for an answer that you have not found yet. And instead of wasting more money, I remember we said, we said this open mind, close wallet until you find what works. Um, that's my mother. She shops way more than she wears, trying to get her to find her style and have less than mix and match. Yes, because it is, it is definitely equal parts what you wear and how you wear it. The fashion is what you wear. The style is how you wear it. Yes, you have to embrace being fluffy. And I guarantee you, your body is not changing as much as you think it is. You have to understand that, you know, especially after you have babies, your weight shifts a little bit. But if you have the right foundational garments, if you have the right uh, style, and if you are aware, again, of those measurements, the measurements ain't going to change too much in a short amount of time. <laughs> And if you if you if you have those measurements, you have all the answers. That's why I say measurements, measurements, measurements. I am the school of thought that if you have your measurements, you cannot go wrong with the right guidance and information. And then number three, you can't name or refer to any sources of inspiration. And y'all, hold on a minute. 
this is where we have some books. <laughs> so I'm going to put these right here. And we're going to go through some books. Now, everyone may not read, but I guarantee you, the more you get and expose yourself to the things that you want, the more likely you are to have them because you will have more and more of a blueprint to get them. And so I suggest you start reading. What do you start reading? Okay, so the, here, here are my currents. One, Tim Gunn's A Guide to Quality, Taste, and Style. I love Tim Gunn. Tim Gunn is absolutely amazing. Let me show this right here. And then let me show it right here. There we go. This is, he is a pretty much a mainstay, a staple. Everyone got to know him through Project Runway. Um, through uh, Project Runway and his Guide to Style show. But this is such a good book, a masterclass about the balance between quality, taste, and all that good stuff. We so often think the more the better or even the less the better. It's somewhere in between because more and less is relative to you. But understanding there are certain standards that have been set to help you along the way. They are not necessarily rules. They're very good guidelines. And so if you are starting from the very beginning, this is a good book to have. And this will give you some inspiration as far as what is tasteful and what may not be tasteful. So I love Tim Gunn. <laughs> I absolutely love him. I love his advice. I love that he is no nonsense and he will tell it to you like it is, but not in a way to tear you down, but only to build you back up. So a guide to quality, taste, and style. Hey, Stephanie, how are you doing, honey? I hope you're having a good morning. And then we have change your clothes, change your life because you can't go naked. <laughs> this is by George. Listen, I'm about to butcher this man's last name. And you would think after like eight years of music school and trying to pronounce and say like five different languages for as many years, I would get it. I don't. Let's just let's just look at the man's name before I butcher it. I know it's Italian based, y'all. All right, there we go. I love, and again, it's so cute. Here we go. He breaks it down kind of like Tim Gunn and lets you know the importance behind the clothes. If you think it's just about throwing on some cute clothes that you saw on that Facebook advertisement or on that Instagram post or on that video or on that red carpet, it's, it's a lot more than that. Hey, Faith, thank you so much for joining me. And if you guys have not already, please tell me where you are viewing from. I like to see new faces and learn about new places. And it really helps me know where my region. And if you have not already liked this, love this and definitely share this. Okay, now this one. Oh, I love it. This is Everyday Icon, Michelle Obama and the Power of Style. This goes through, now if you are a woman in business, if you are a woman in more conservative um, fields, this is just like, it's just like one, it's just like so beautiful as far as just the visuals and knowing how to navigate spaces where you have to be more polished, more covered, and making it work for you. These are all from the runway and how she adapted them to her style. It's great as far as understanding how to make things work for you and also understanding the importance of a tailor. <laughs> I always say you should have a tailor on hand as, as, as much as possible and it doesn't have to be expensive, it doesn't have to be cheap, it could be within your budget. And how she was a lover of print, she was a lover of dresses, she's had, um, it is it is very good, I actually got this from the library. I saw, found this in my library and I looked through it and I'm like, oh my goodness, I love all the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but it definitely shows you just how you can you can wear things in whatever way that you want to. It is Everyday Icon Michelle Obama and the Power of Style by Kate Betts. And here we are. And whether listen, we're not getting too political, but one thing you can't deny a woman can dress. 
the woman can dress. And she brought another dimension to how, what it is to have a sense of personal style and being polished. And what it is to be polished in a way that is still, still very custom made to you, but still adheres to those unwritten rules, you know? Good, glad you got it. And it also says, you know, it also says, you know, the Ten Commandments of First Lady Style and showing that, you know, what that entails. I mean, it's just really, it's very picture heavy. It's very visual heavy. It tells you the story behind many of the um, outfits. It shows the, the dresses that didn't make it to the inauguration. And I mean, come on. I think this was the one, this is what she was originally supposed to wear. I mean, look how stunning that is. I mean, she is cute and covered, which is going to be, if you guys want to know, if you are in the Tampa area, um, Tampa, Lakeland, Plant City, all that good stuff, I'm doing a tour called Cute and Covered. It's going to be touring <laughs> in the different churches, and I'm going to use her as an example. I'm going to use a few other examples, but you don't have to compromise um, your style in order to be acceptably dressed. Um, do you feel people want to be polished? A lot of people want to be polished. I have had some clients who their version of what polished was wasn't the conventional way, but polished is as polished as yeah. Yes, she wore she wore a lot of affordable clothing. She wore a lot of clothing that I think you and I would be like, oh, I can wear that. It wasn't some far off thing, you know. And whatever polished is to you, sometimes polished to one client was. A great pair of jeans and a great crisp top and some flats um, another one was it was going to be a very tailored structured dress and some stilettos every day polish for them both was a little different I even had one client who she wanted to incorporate fishnets into her everyday wear we did it and she got her own version of polished I think there are standards and there is a legacy with words, but we also can define them for ourselves. As long as you feel comfortable, it's authentic to you and your style, make it work, like Tim Gunn says. <laughs> and last but not least, okay, y'all, this was a surprise. And I'm not going to lie, everything in here, I'm not here for. But she does have a lot of golden nuggets. This is Lauren Conrad style. Now, I will say, she's just expanded into plus size. She has just expanded into plus size. Yep, we made it work. And that's the thing. That's the thing. Even if you, even whatever feels comfortable to you whatever works for you and it's just incorporating it different ways like there was this uh blazer with fishnet overlays like on the pockets we had found a pair of tights that had like the fishnet design on top of them but you couldn't even really see through them we found some uh shoes with fishnet on them um, it's all types of ways, but thinking about it outside the box. And if you hear something, you instantly think, oh, that won't work. You got to expand your mind. It's not about the literal, it's not about the literal concentration of that. It's how can I make it work for me? Um, and she just loved, she just loved fishnets. I even was able to get her to wear the classical fishnets, though in the classical sense and wear it. It depends on what you, who you are and what you want to do. And I would not be a stylist if I had one static way of dressing everybody. I would just be a cookie cutter, <laughs> regurgitating the rules and the and the things that have gotten many women to be as stuck and as much of a rut as they have been now because we think of things so statically. We think of things so literally. We don't even venture outside of what we normally think want or what we normally think is acceptable and so we just fall into what we are used to feeling is acceptable and then that's why we do things like go out and buy things more than we wear them and go out and get things uh that don't speak to our style we have to revamp every season you know and so i for me she has a good little nuggets so lauren conrad style this is a really good book she has a lot of pictures 
some of the stuff I'm like, okay, girl. Okay. We we'll have to we, we differ a little bit on this, but she does have a lot of great nuggets and she also has a lot of pictures, y'all. It is so nice. I use that just for just different nuggets. Um, I really like her section about, you know, jeans and what to look for in there. Um, she does also cover beauty. She also covers hair, all that good stuff. So if you want to get inspiration, you have to go out and find it. Sometimes it's through a book. Sometimes it's through visual. I like to watch home decor because of the clean simplicity of a lot of those people who have, uh, uh, I think her name is Very Carrie and then... What's the other one? I forget her name. But there are a few of those home decor people that I'm like, oh my goodness, I can have an outfit that looks just like this. Or just thinking about the simple lines. It's about thinking outside the box. It's about adjusting it to who you are. It's about adjusting, adjusting the clothes to who you are, not adjusting who you are to the clothes. And these three signs of why and how you may be doing things that don't speak to the style, Lista, in you, um, we got to fix those. And if you have not already, check out my Facebook page, Emerald Girl Chronicles. That is where I'll post new things about new stores that are popping up. Who's coming out with a plus size line? What's the latest in fashion or even outfit ideas? Because I don't want you to ever go another day thinking that you have to be stuck with where you are. I want the person five years from now to thank the person now for the things and the changes that they have done. And if you have not made changes that the person, that the you from five years from now be thankful for, think about why. Is it because you... Let's go back to the list. Is it because you constantly have to change and change and change because there's no standard? Is it is it because you constantly buy and buy and buy you don't wear? So there's a little confusion as to what you actually like and what you will wear. Is it because you can't name or you can't refer to any sources of inspiration? These are the things and the questions you have to ask yourself in order, in order to become better, to become, to feel better, in, in order to be better. And if you are frustrated with your style, that is why I'm here. I'm Cherry, personal stylist, style educator, but more importantly, your style BFF. And I am here to make sure you not only look better, but you feel better so you can be your best. And the only way to do that is to be a little more realistic with yourself. Are you wearing clothes that you actually like or the things that you've been told always work? It might be a hard conversation, but it's a conversation that needs to be had. All right, guys, I am going to get out of here. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. My name is Cherry. Again, I'm your style BFF. I'm going to be here every day around 9.05 to 9.10ish, Monday through Friday. Give me the best that I have in style, confidence, and all of that good stuff in between. If this is your first time watching me, please, again, tell me where you are viewing from. And if you're watching the replay, thank you so much, replay viewers. I love you as well. <laughs> Check me out at egchronicles.com or go over to the Facebook page, Emerald Girl Chronicles, and that is where I will be giving you all the goodies and tidbits, um, including the information about the shapewear, um, including the shapewear workshop, where we break it all down. I'm going to say bye here to um, Periscope, and then I'll be right back, Facebook. Thank you for joining me here on Periscope. I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you very soon. Ciao for now. Bye.